Hey guys, good morning. It's my first day in the hotel. Well, my first night I slept here last night and I'm just getting up this morning. And man, let me tell you, I slept so good. My leg has been acting up real bad. It kept swelling. It kept getting worse and worse and worse. And now it's all it's super big. But last night I slept. I slept really good and comfortable. I was able to stretch out. Prop this leg up like I normally do when I'm at home, and the swelling is down significantly. Um, it's still a little sore, I guess, from it being so swole for so long. It's still a little sore, so, sore, sore. I'm still sleepy, guys. I'm, I need to go back to sleep, but I got to get up and finish packing out the rest of that stuff out of the apartment. And I'm waiting on the insurance company to call me. They make me pay for everything up front, and it's, it's so hard because I don't have the funds, so... I'm trying to get funds and stuff to get all this stuff squared away. And then they talk about reimbursing later and all that stuff. And I'm like, well, the whole point of me having insurance is so I wouldn't have to have this worry. So I definitely am not keeping State Farm. I'm going to probably go to Progressive because this is ridiculous. It, they didn't think about this when they put this together for the customer. Because the, if the customer is, is so SOL out, then... What? You know, I'm like, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. I was not working the last three months. You know, I had was out with mama for the first month, and then corona hit. I was out with her two months with that, and then when I returned to work, I only worked two weeks. Two weeks, and then she was back sick and in the hospital and dying. So, you know, I just, I ain't had the funds. I just don't have the money. So, I'm trying to make it up as I go and figure it out as I go, and cashing in on stuff as I go and getting rid of stuff as I go so I can make this work so again I did I posted a thank you on Facebook to all the ones who's donated it's been about three or four four donations that came through and they came through just in time and I do I am a very appreciative of those four people because if it weren't for you guys I wouldn't have been able to get this squared away and get into a hotel you know you guys know that the incident happened July 1st and today is the night the 20th at the 21st and I'm just now getting enough funds to be able to go to a hotel so if that puts a little light on everything for people I hope it does because it has been really hard and I'm trying to get stuff done and when people are like well where your mom's money your mom passed away where your money from that my mom was sitting old and with diabetes so her life insurance policy that she got Thank God she got it, but it wasn't for much. And her funeral was $4,000. So what little bit she had went to her funeral. She didn't have, you know, much. She was only able to to afford what she had. And if I knew that that's what she was doing, I would have put more money with it so we wouldn't have to worry about, you know, little stuff like this. This would have been perfect time and then had that money come back and be able to help us but. It's not, it's not, it wasn't enough to, it was enough to bury her and that was it. And now we appreciate that. We appreciate that a lot because other than that, I would have still been trying to figure a way out to bury her, to take care of me and everything. So I'm grateful that she did that and she was smart enough to get that taken care of even though she couldn't get much because of her diabetes already pre-existed illness or whatever it is that they only gave her so many, so many dollars to cover her for, so... And the rest, we buying everybody lockets to put ashes and stuff in. So, it's a lot of us. So, that took care of the rest of that. So, we, we you know, that ain't nothing. We can't even look at that because that's nothing to look at. So, all I can do is keep pushing until I get through. I'm back. I'm working. So, hopefully this next check come through. I'll be able to put some more on it, pay some more on it. So, the thing is, is that I have to get the money back from the um, apartment. <clears throat> so they're supposed to give me my double deposit plus my rent for this month. But I don't have that money yet. So I, I couldn't use that money to get the hotel. So I'm going to go today to finish out putting out, getting that stuff out the apartment so I can say it's done and I need the check so I can pay for the hotel. And that'll get me some leeway too, so a little breathing room so I can make sure that I, I don't have to in three days vacate. So... I have to take care of that today, and it's just been a whirlwind for me. I mean, it's been one thing after another, 
And I'm going to have an apartment looking today. I'm going to ride around the city and see what I can find. Um, I contacted a few homes yesterday and left voicemail. So hopefully they get back with me today. So prayers that somebody get me something somewhere fast because I got the hotel for the next 30 days. I don't want to be in 30 days still living in a hotel. So if you guys come across something, hit me up in the DMs. Tell me where you see an apartment set so I can check them out. And, uh, oh, you know what? I, the whole point of me to start in this video, because that's what's on my mind this morning. I got to call them, call them and get everything squared away. But remember those bras that was out that was on um, Mother's Day? I ordered it like a month before Mother's Day or whenever they first started advertising those bras that you, those sports bras you put on, they're supposed to keep you up where you can jump and exercise with big breasts and don't have to worry about your boobs popping all around. So I ordered mine in a 4 5 X, 4 5 X. And I was like, I'm going to get the biggest one they had just to make sure that I can fit it. So it came. They was two. You buy two and you get them for $19 each. And they look like really good bras. I know y'all been seeing them because they had them all over Instagram, all over Facebook. And they was advertising like crazy. So I was like, you know what? Those bras look really good. I'm going to go ahead and order them two of them so i ordered them they just came they just came let me see my neighbor called me day before yesterday and said they here so it's been about two months it took them two months to come but that's what they looking like there's the cup it's got this patent in it let me pop it out there you go it's got this patent in it i don't know why they put patent in i got enough boob i don't need no patent but they put a patent in it. And my concern is, this is supposed to be a 4 or 5X. But I'm telling you, this look like a 1, 2X. Let's see what the size say. Yeah, see, this say 5X. 5X. This look like a 1X, a 1 or a 2X. Because I usually buy... I usually buy a 4X. This look like a 1, 2 this ain't, it don't have hardly, it got a little give, but not what I need to get around this body. This only, this ain't even my boot, this one boot. If this can, if it helps you any. This one boot, this one boot in a bra, and I got titty all around here. This ain't gonna do nothing for me. I knew it because you know why? When you can't try this stuff like this on, and then from my understanding, this ain't, this supposed to be one of those bras you can pull the straps. And make tighter but you can see this is not made the same way it's not made you supposed to be able to uh, velcro this pull this tighter and across this has got this little bra thing made in the back of it this is not the bra that i ordered this got this little bra elastic thing in the back and then on the straps they supposed to be right here in the front where you can unvelcro and pull but instead of having a velcro in the front like the ones that i ordered it's on the inside, inverted inside out. So I don't know. This little bit of Velcro is supposed to hold this thing up wherever you put it on the inside. There's no other piece to it. It's just Velcro on the one side and it sticks to this material. This ain't gonna hold these babies, good honey. These boobies is not gonna be able to stay up in here. They, this thing ain't gonna fit me right. I'm mad because I waited so long to get them. This is not what I ordered. Not at all what I ordered. And you know what? That's what I get for ordering. That's why I said I never order off of Instagram or Facebook again. And this, they, this just made it official. Because nothing that I get off of there ever comes right. And it looked like it came from, you know, it looked like it came from Wish. You know how Wish packs your stuff up? That's what it looked like. It looked like it came from Wish. Got the little Chinese, Chinese writing on there. It will come in the little, these little packets like this, which you send me with all your stuff shown there. I got two of those, and then I guess I give them away to somebody because them puppies ain't gonna be nothing for me. Them things is not gonna work for me. So anyway, I thought I'd get on here and just post that. I did a. 
a little package opening. I thought it was something my mom ordered because I don't, I haven't, I ordered that, like I said, two, three months ago. So uh, my mom ordered some stuff before she passed. And so I was crying because I thought it was something she had ordered. And then when I opened it up and saw it was those bras, I was mad. <laughs> I wanted it to be something that she had ordered. So, but um, yeah, I said I was going to have it hard because I'm so sad I won't be able to keep that apartment. And not just because I wanted to keep that apartment, but because that's where my mom was last. And I found it peaceful when I go there. I went there yesterday to get the mail. And I just sat there and I just talked to her for a little bit while I was there in the parking lot. And I just told her how much I miss her. I'm gonna miss that lady like something crazy. She my sidekick, man. Every time we go, I'll do something or whatever. I always call her. Even though she was bedridden, we had the duo set up so we can do her. She can we can still take her to the store and she can still shop. We would turn on the duo and she would look around the store on duo and tell us what she liked and didn't like or whatever. So I'm gonna miss being able to duo her and to show her stuff and talk to her over the duo. And then every day at eight o'clock, I woke up at exactly eight o'clock today. And like I do every day, I woke up. I got up. Usually I'm at work, so. I usually just pick the phone up at work and call her at 8 o'clock every morning. So I got up at 8 o'clock today and was like, said, as soon as I opened my eyes, I was like, I got to call my mama. And I ain't even at work. But when I looked at the phone, it was 8 o'clock. It was 8 o'clock. And I've been up ever since. It's crazy how this stuff messes with you when you miss a loved one so much. I just don't know what to do with myself with her being gone. All of my family, we all having it real hard, missing her like crazy. Oh, my God, we miss her like crazy. Her birthday is in a couple days. And uh, her last thing she said to me, uh, Olive Garden commercial came on last night. And I've been up ever since crying because when I was at the hospital with her, right before she started going, getting worse and going down, she said to me, when I get home, I want Olive Garden. <laughs> For my birthday, I want Olive Garden. So I told her for her birthday, I'm going to get her Olive Garden if that's what she want. And she said, yes, yeah, she want Olive Garden for her birthday. So when I saw the Olive Garden commercial, I was just a blubbered mess. She never got to get her Olive Garden. And she wanted that so bad because she wanted me to go get it for her while she was in the hospital. And I told her, I said, if you eat today, I'll go get it for you. If you eat something today, I'll go get it for you. So she tried to eat. She tried to eat a little bit, and I knew she was going down because she couldn't swallow her food. So I could, I didn't go get it because I knew she wouldn't eat it. She wouldn't be able to eat it, and I didn't want her feelings to be hurt. So I didn't go get it for her. So I tried to talk her into getting something different, but I wished I'd have got it for her because it would have been her last favorite meal that she got. She really wanted that so bad. And I told her, I said, if you eat something, I should have just went and got it because then a the commercial probably wouldn't have made me cry like that. She wanted that so bad. She was like, that's what I want. Because she couldn't eat. She was on some type of crazy renal diet where she couldn't have salt. She couldn't have. they. She Her her voice box, if you know my mom, she at some point she had lost her voice. She could never speak. And they told us it was everything under the sun. It was bronchitis. It was this. It was that. So when she went to down to UC and they was trying to talk to her and they couldn't understand her. They wanted to figure out why was she, why couldn't she speak. So they put that scope down her throat to see what was going on in her throat. Why can't she speak? And when they did that, they saw that her voice box was stuck open. So she couldn't speak because her voice box is supposed to come together and vibrate so you can speak. But her voice box was stuck open and only one side was closing. So that's why her voice sounded like that. She could never speak. And so they um, put her on this diet where it was soft foods and and because her kidneys, it was no sodium, and then her potassium, so then she had to take this potassium powder. I mean, her diet was screwed up. She just, at most of the point, she just was drinking stuff. She wasn't even eating. And then drinking was hard because her voice box, her voice wasn't shutting, opening and shutting like it's supposed to to swallow. It was stuck open, so when she was swallowing, some food would get down, and they were worried that it would get in her lungs and cause her to have pneumonia. So she was on a thickening. 
they was doing a thickening diet and oh my god she was so miserable and she told me she said when i get out of here that's what i want i want olive garden i want that for my birthday <laughs> So I told her, I said, well, we'll get that Olive Garden for her. So I might go to Olive Garden on the 24th and just enjoy her Olive Garden meal that she wanted. I don't know. I really don't. I ain't been eating myself. I probably should just just chill the heck out. Hold on for me. This housekeeping. Just a second. Housekeeping at the door. So I'm going to go so I can see what they want because I don't know why they hear this early. But all right, y'all, thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Join the family. Please subscribe and join the family. Thanks so much. You guys keep watching. I'll keep posting. Peace.